the agent will understand the missing inputs without losing any meaning. Could you please tell me what symptoms you're experiencing today? I'm still thinking that physician might perform better than AI. Thank you for joining uh, my speech. I'm um, excited to talk with you today about AI, about take and triage. Uh, with you, Hadil Abu Bakr, Senior Healthcare IT Consultant. Let's start. Uh, what if triage could happen before the meeting room? I will keep this question open for now, as I'm sure that it will be answered by end of our presentation. Let's understand how it will work by visualizing the scenarios. So your patient sitting at home, uh, you want to visit the clinic, will scan the QR code on your website. Then he will be redirected to the AI virtual assistant. This AI assistant will greet him, will ask him to choose a language, and will start to ask him to provide some details to identify uh, the identity of these patients. For example, his phone number, his uh, ID, uh, some signature. These options are customizable as per your uh, demand or needs. After that, we'll confirm with the patient his insurance details, and then he will provide, sorry, first he will update your records with like reflecting this information on your uh, patient system, or maybe creating a new record because he could be a new patient. After that, generating a QR token, uh, like number, and provide a life status tracking for the patient so he can know when his turn is coming. For the triage, the AI assistant will offer triage your symptoms, what you feel, what you complain about, and if the patient share it, agree and share it with the AI assistant, the AI assistant will analyze this, will assess it, and share with you the substance reasons, the risk assessment, and provide you a recommendation what you should do. First, it could be a risk emergency case, and we will talk later on how the AI agent handled such cases, or it could be a normal appointment with your doctor, so the AI assistant will help you to uh, book an appointment by location, time, date, and reflect all of these details on your systems and provide you the QR code for your token number. We need to understand that the AI is not only useful for the patients, it's also useful for your staff, nurse, admin, so they can act as a second eye. For example, the nurse, she can act as a second eye, revise the recommendation provided by the AI and they can override it by the way in case it's required and they can confirm the uh, let's say decisions especially the critical one. The admin say they can act as a second eye, they can revise the recommendation and they can route or reschedule whatever that is required and needed and ensure that the patients got the care on time. And I believe it's very crucial to mention here and highlight that AI will not replace your staff. AI will help your staff by freeing them from these repetitive administrative tasks so they can focus more on providing the care for the patients. So by this, we can conclude the benefits of this AI assistance to our patients, less self-service uh, self, uh, self than five minutes. These by AI uh, agents can simplify the medical terms to your patients. And the studies show that the patients feel more safe to share sensitive data with AI over a human because there is more empathy and no judgment. <laughs> Doctors or maybe nurses, they still maybe worry about the emergency cases, how AI can handle it, can handle it perfectly or miss with these cases. 
the uh, studies of open AI evaluation done based on 5,000 realistic conversation, and it showed that, yes, AI can handle such cases perfectly, and AI can initiate a call to the emergency center at your hospital and automatically reflect all of this information on your system and connect the patient and your emergency team. Okay, maybe some of you now still thinking that physician might perform a bit uh, like better than AI, then the answer actually is no. The studies show that AI alone can give an accurate information by 60%, and even on a communication equality level, um, the studies also show that the AI alone can provide a good quality of communication by 70%. It could be probably because of the reason that we mentioned before, simplifying the medical terms, um, more empathy, less judgment, etc. Uh, let's level up now our thinking and our questions for the management IT and think should we use a general model or a specialized model. And the studies here actually it showed that uh, they convert between MedBalm and GPT. MedBalm is the one, the most specialized one in the market currently and the GPT. And as you can see the numbers, we are talking about 86.5 to 86.1. So the, the gap is very small. And here I can tell you, uh, safely you can start with general model and then based on the feedback, on the data, on the results from your patients, you can start to train this model to be more specialized by adding more domain knowledge, more constraints, more security, more re uh, region related rules and regulations. Okay, Hidi, you convinced us we are ready to have it in our clinics, our hospitals, what we need to know, how we can build it, what we need to understand, what crucial points to take it into consideration. First, the building blocks. You need to understand that the AI is, uh, uh, um, agents will interact with all parties, not only patients. So we are talking about patients, health IT, practitioner. The framework of such agents are very flexible where we can integrate it with any system available currently in your clinic or hospital. Taking into consideration, of course, the data structure, but it's flexible and it can be done with any kind of systems you have it in your organization. Second, you need to maintain and understand that your agent is providing multi -language. So if that means the agents can speak our patient's language, absolutely yes can speak their language, Chinese, Hindi, English, Arabic, anything. Even in Arabic, as you know, there is different accents. So the agent will speak their accent as well, and they will respond using the language or the accent that the patient used. The agent will understand the missing inputs without losing any meaning. And if there is any high risk cases or any ambiguous area, the agent will be able to immediately escalate it to a human. Security, of course, something very important. First, we need to identify the flows, the scenarios where the AI is accepted to proceed with his triage. And where is the scenarios that the AI is not accepted to proceed with his triage, we call it a stop rules. Uh, for example, um, pregnancy with the bleeding. Pregnancy with the bleeding, there is no time to do a triad with the AI. It should be immediately escalated to a human. So we call it the stop rules, and it should be taken into consideration as part of the security. But it locks lock every single actions happen on those conversations between your patients, nurse, admin, IT, all the parties that will interact with these agents, 
it will be there, it will be locked for your monitor and for your improvement in the future. Second is regulation. Uh, regulation you need to take care of. Uh, regulation you need to take care of your country or region related rules, data privacy, data protection, data transfer. You need to ensure that a human is in loop. What that means? It means don't depend only on the AI. Of course, we need to have the human where the patient can consent, agreed, or the nurse, as we mentioned before, can agree or override if it's required. Some ethics, it should be also there when you start using such agents. First, what? We need to always have a clear answer for this question. For the patients, for the nurse, why AI provided those recommendations based on which factors, with which data was provided to it, and based on it, it provides this recommendation. And we need to have, as we mentioned before, the multi-language, so no patient is excluded. All your patients are involved to use this AI, and the transparency with your patients, with people like the data. If you remember first in that scenario, I mentioned that we might ask him for his number, signature, ID, etc. We need to explain to him why we are collecting this data and how it will be used. If you start applying this AI agent, it's not like the last level that you can reach. Of course, there is always a future opportunities. Next step, for example, you can escalate it like that. Uh, make it advanced to provide a personalized care at home. So the AI can provide a plan, a care plan to your patients with the medicine and help him to monitor this while he is at home. Second, you can use not only the chat AI agents, you can use the voice conversation uh, agents, and I'm going to show you a demo with this actually after a few minutes. This QR code, it will take you to the case study related to this uh, AI voice uh, assistant that we already delivered by ScienceSoft. So now we, I think it was to, to see it, how it works in the actual world. مرحبا. أهلا وسهلا. ممكن تقولي لي إيه الأعراض اللي حاسس بيها النهاردة؟ Can you switch to English? Of course, I can switch to English. Could you please tell me what symptoms you're experiencing today? I have chest pain and it's getting worse. I'm sorry to hear that. Can you describe the chest pain for me? Is it more of a sharp pain or a pressure-like feeling? And does it spread to your arm, jaw, or back at all? It's heavy and it's getting into my left arm. Thank you for sharing that. Since you're experiencing chest pain that feels heavy and it's spreading to your arm, this could be serious. I strongly recommend that you seek emergency medical attention right away. Would you like me to help connect you to emergency services now? Yes. I've alerted emergency services right away. Please stay calm and help is on the way. If you can, try to keep someone nearby while you wait for them to arrive. Okay, thank you. As you noticed here, it initiated a call with the emergency center, emergency center at your hospital. So basically I should get the call from that emergency so they can come to me immediately on the time or at least advise me what to do until they are uh, By this, I'm done. Thank you so much for listening. Science Soft. Project success no matter what.